Hi. Hello, guys. I'm Serbo Jingles the Third. Okay, this is not a game video. You don't have to do that. Hi, Hi guys. I'm the fedora wearing asshole. This is Serbo Jangles the Third, and, and apparently to... this is a show that's going to exist. Yeah, this is a thing we're actually going to do. It's actually going to be kind of fun, though. I guess. I he, still cannot cereal. believe the thing that I'm looking at on your screen. Um, I know. Um, you guys so, aren't going to see this, but apparently we're looking at a video game news website. Which I actually do from time to time to kind of keep up to date and decide what we're going to record. I'm going to eat cereal um, now. Well, he'd say, I'll give you guys a quick rundown of what's going on. Kanye West is apparently making a video game. Oh, dear God, save us all. I know. This. Uh, you see Chris in the back, we're getting some damn, looking for a damn ball. I told you want to get out of this fucking <laughs> shot, <laughs> Deuce Nigel? I told a stupid ass where yeah, it is. This is being appropriate, not yelling shit. Whatever. Anyways, so uh, I'm actually pulling up the story on this because I'm actually curious now to see what it's actually about, period. If there's a video, you cannot play that. You have to hit pause. Hit pause. Random video jump cut. And now back to the video. Oh, dear God. Oh, dear God. This is a direct quote, mind you, from Kanye West. Um, right now I'm working on a video game for only one. It's based on one of his songs, apparently. I don't listen to the crap, Neither to do be I. honest. Uh, I mean, don't get me don't wrong, like it, Kanye, with it. you know, you, you know, may be a talented guy, but fuck that shit. That's I, not yeah, my bag. It's Sorry. not our type of music. I apologize. Um, right now I'm working on a video game for only one, which is apparently one of his songs. And the idea is that it's my mother going through the gates of heaven, and you have to bring her to the highest gates of heaven by holding her to the light. Okay, now, I have to weigh in here. I'm Go sorry, ahead. so I'm just going to you know, be brutally honest here and tell you to shut the fuck up and let me say something. Kanye, with all due respect, it's a sweet thought, man, but that is the most retarded idea <laughs> For a video game concept, I think I've ever heard in my entire life. Even if it's a mobile game, it's just fucking stupid. It's a sweet thought. I'm glad you love your mama, and that's great, but I don't want to play that shit, and I believe I speak for a vast majority of video game people, that that is just so fucking stupid. So stupid. What the fuck, Kanye? What were you fucking thinking, dude? What were you thinking? I mean, anyway, I get that you're trying to be the master of all trades here, but I mean, you could, if you're trying to do that, come up with a better fucking idea for a game, man. Come on. You Talk say you to have someone all this... who actually knows about video games, maybe. Exactly. You know, someone you who say might, you, have all you know, this... play video games. Hmm. Oh, wow. Huh. Yeah. Who asked you? You, you, you sit no here comments saying you're... from the peanut gallery. You, you, you're saying you have all this ideas in your head or your your fucking genius why not come up with a better fucking video game idea come on you man. just you just totally use, proved that you are not a genius use the brain you say you have sir that's all i'm gonna say on the subject anyway uh so far other things that are coming out here soon is there is a pac-man restaurant now open all righty then that is fucking badass i'm actually gonna download a few of these pictures to throw up are on... all of their food round i hope so because that would be kind of, you know, why, 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 uh, awesome. Oh, my. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. I don't really see how that has anything to do with Pac-Man. But other than the round lights, other than that, the, there are little round lights on the on the ceiling that look like the little orbs that you eat. But otherwise. No, I. Ew. Sorry about that, guys. Um, it has a bowling alley, ping pong tables, and of course, Pac-Man video games to play, among other things. Um, I think it's level 257 is a reference to Pac-Man's infamous kill screen, which pops up during the 256 board. Overall, the restaurant aims to offer a fun dining experience, which is basically the kill screen, I believe, was is they're referencing the when you got to the level 256, if you beat it, it would cut off because the programming bug. I believe is what that's referencing. Well, congratulations to anyone who understands what the fuck that is from real life experience. Um, there but <laughs> I'm a rage quitter. I get to a certain point in the game where I can't get any farther, no matter how hard I try, and I just go, fuck you, game! I'm not playing you anymore. Well, you you know, can sit on my shelf. Well, you know, in all honesty, there's one spot in the entire Pac-Man board where none of the ghosts can reach you. And if you just hide... What? You didn't know that? You... There's how Talk big of an age gap, and you don't Talk know that? You. Dude, 
when I wanted to play Pac-Man, I had to get my dad to drop me off at the fucking pizza shop so I could play it on their damn game. Okay, you fucking young bastards. And there is a pretty considerable age gap between the two of us. Don't get me wrong, I'm still a gamer. I love games. But when I was growing up, we didn't have, you know, home game systems. I started out on Nintendo, you know, back when gaming actually became a, a legitimate thing instead of some pixels flying across the screen. What are you doing? What are you doing? I'm looking at the pictures of the restaurant trying to see if it gave me any good ones to throw up on the screen. It looks like it just has that thing, so I'll probably just try and add that. Good luck. God. Nope. That's anyway. not going to work. Well, anyways, you guys can Google it. I actually, I'll put a link to all the articles we go through in the description below. That way you guys can look at what we're looking at. Okay, um, skip that next one. It looks boring. Yeah, pretty much. Um, uh, monthly sale, gaming deals. Ooh, Microsoft teases E3 surprises, promises the Xbox One relentless innovation. whoop de freaking do Nobody not. gives a flying fuck, Microsoft. I'm sorry, but you kind of flopped on the Xbox One. You kind of pissed a lot of people off. Well, to be honest with you, Microsoft's kind of shit in the bed in all, all aspects at this point. I mean, hello, Windows 8. Enough said. I'm going to just leave that at that. Windows 8. Thanks, Microsoft. <laughs> I'm actually using Windows 8 on the on this little um, computer here that we're using for a lot of this stuff. It's called a netbook. Just say netbook. They don't need to know all the fucking details of your little toy. It's a fancy toy. I, like I don't toy. care, but they don't need to know that. All they need to know is that you're freaking using it to read crap. So, yeah, go on and read crap. Apparently Halo 5 Guardians, which is apparently a thing now, they're just, it's becoming Final Fantasy all over again. Um, <laughs> they can't hear that. Stop worrying about it. Meow. Meow. Um, the Aaron Greenberg says Halo 5 is super innovative and the bad, the bad, innovative... Game developer 343 has dreamed of making. Pause. Innovative. Go on. Innovative. Innovative. Unfortunately, it looks like it's only going to be... It's going to be an Xbox One exclusive, which means if you don't want to break down and buy the Xbox One... And for no good reason. Exactly. And you don't want... And you're trying to wait for it to be on PC. It looks like for now... It's only going to be, uh, at least for now, hopefully, they do eventually realize the error of their ways and release it on PC. But it looks like it's only going to be an Xbox One exclusive release. So if you're not an Xbox One user, but you're a huge fan of Halo, Microsoft's basically giving you the middle finger at this point. They're going, fuck you, buy our game and console and everything else we make because apparently you can eat our shit. Which, you know, I guess isn't all that bad. Because they have that right, I guess, with how many people worship the feet that they walk on. But from the images I'm seeing here on the website, it actually doesn't looks look like all it, that great. It, it doesn't look amazing. I mean, graphically, it looks awesome. Don't get me wrong. But what the fuck? Who plays a war game for the graphics? Exactly. Plus, it looks like they're completely redesigning everything yet again. I although I will say, props on the CGI Microsoft. It looks great. It, but, it really um, does. It's again, just... who plays a war game for the fucking graphics? You Precisely. play for the mechanics and the gameplay. Anyway. Uh, another one is... Go around the other way. You can go into the shot for a minute. We'll cut you out. Go ahead. <laughs> God damn it, Corey! <laughs> God damn it. Anyway. Oh, joyous day. Are you looking at the one I'm looking at? It looks like it's from Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom, Sonic Boom. Um, it actually looks like a former Sega executive criticizes the company's 20 years of wrong decisions with the Sonic game. Well, you know. I mean. I, I, I just kind of, that's a moot point. Anyone <laughs> who liked Sonic when Sonic first came out, because Sonic was an awesome fucking game. And anyone with a brain that actually played it went, oh my god, this fucking game. Precisely. They did such amazing things with three buttons. Three fucking buttons. 
What I the will fuck? hand him that. I've been a hardcore Nintendo fan most of my life. I never really dabbled with Sega. See, where I, on the other hand, am totally all about PlayStation, dude. Sony, you guys rock. Anyway, go on. Uh, the only really uh, Sega game I touched, or console I touched, was the Sega Genesis, and that's only because one of my friends in uh, elementary school had one. And, you know, we'd go over and play video games every once in a while, or he'd bring it over to my house, and I'd sit down and be like, oh, you know what, this is kind of cool, I guess I could kind of get into this if I actually had one, you know what I mean? And he had the uh, the classic Sonic, which, you know, I'm not going to lie, I had a blast playing. It was really, you know, just one of those games that you could just sit and play for hours, much well, like the Mario game. I think you can get Sonic Legends now for the Wii, which has all of the old ones. Nice. Which I'm actually seriously considering getting. Just, just for, so um, I can play classic Sonic, because exactly. it was fucking insane. And it was, I it was just it. one of those games that you just sat down and oh played endlessly. Oh my god, get endlessly. the fuck out already. Oh, you were getting your head? Where the hell was it? Over my house. Oh, for fuck's sake. Get the fuck out. Cut it to bed. Anyways, th th trust me, these episodes will get better. I promise. I shouldn't have said that. We're so <laughs> fucked. <laughs> you really should not have promised that. Um, but anyway, so he's fine. Apparently, we're going to try to make these better. Is realizing the error of their ways. And oh dear God! Kalinsky, who was CEO at Sega of America during the company's heyday, which was basically back in the 1990s when uh, Sonic had just come out, everybody was like, "Holy fuck! This is amazing! This company shows amazing promise. We should actually do this." Um, and then they brought out the Dreamcast 10 years before its time and totally went dead. Pretty much. Uh, Sega could have completed... Comp he went on to say that Sega, if they had gone on with the same values and same ideas that they had when, they, when he was CEO... They, Sega! They probably could have become and still competed today against Sony and Microsoft. Absolutely. But unfortunately, due to the decisions they've made and the games they pushed out just for money... They, you, you kind of fucked up, guys. I mean, I love Sega just for that one game. Don't get me wrong. I always will. But if they had just stopped and actually worked on their games instead of pushing them out just for Christmas, just to try and compete with everybody else. See, but this is the thing that I talk about in my vlogs, is that America has become, and it started right around the time I was born. You know, weird omen there, but... Right around the time I was born, America became, like, hail the almighty dollar, and everything was based completely around, I gotta have that money, period. Well, you know, fuck you game developers, it's a horrible thing to have to say, but if, I'll, I'll tell you right now, you'll make more money if you concentrate on quality, as opposed to how fast you can get it out in a fucking holiday season... So that you can yank in all that fucking money. You'll make more money in the long run if you make a better game. Exactly. Just it, a little FYI there. No matter you know. what you do, if you actually put Period. effort into your content or effort into anything, you'll make more money than if you just shit them out repeatedly. You know what I mean? It, it goes with anything. Work. Milk. Anything. Does a body good. I actually want to have a bowl of that here in a minute. Um, You're going to have a bowl of milk? Meow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Kalinsky went on to say that one of the main reasons he quit Sega, Jesus, you called. <laughs> main reasons he, the only the only real reason he quit <coughs> Sega in 1996 was because the board rejected his idea for a Sega Sony collaborative game console, which That'd be Sony great. was all for. It was that'd be it, great. It actually, is a great idea. But the second they turned it down, he felt they weren't <clears throat> capable of making good business decisions at all, and they shouldn't be based in Japan anymore. Duh. Once Japan turned down a decision like that, it basically became a Wow. What the fuck are you doing? What the this, fuck are you doing? This is a great idea. Yes. We make a lot of money. Stupid. To turn it down. Anyway. But uh, hopefully, uh, Sega, we love you. Unfortunately, you are, have, I believe they claimed bankruptcy how long ago since we started filming this? Or? Fucked if I know. Uh, but they are going bankrupt, and we will miss you dearly just for that one game. You had great potential, but you let yourself flop. You know, it's yeah, really no, on you guys no, at that point. fuck you. Sorry, I'm not going to miss you, Sega. I'll buy your old systems, which you don't fucking make anymore, so fuck you.
Precisely. With, um, with all due respect, fuck respect. You know what? Fuck you, Sega. You shit the fucking bed. You let us all down. You can go fuck yourself. Basically. Screw it. Fuck respect. Fuck all this shit. I'm done being politically correct. Go fuck yourself with the shitty ass fucking games you tried to shove down our throats for years. I'm glad you went fucking bankrupt. Enjoy that. Anyway, so, uh, next you, time... You, oh, you want to cut it here? It's only been 17 minutes. Yeah, exactly. Next time on whatever fucking show this is... The the Gentlemanly Podcast, I guess. No, The Gentleman Show. It's the most misleading title ever. It's perfect. Next time on whatever fucking show this is, we'll review some more... We'll review some more news... <laughs> Next time... With all the news that is news around the nation, <laughs> I'm the fedora-wearing asshole. And I'm Sir Bojangles the Third, and we'll see you in the in next In whatever episode. the fuck it is next. Yeah, bye. <laughs>